Matt from mtn.co.nz here. Today we're going to go over how to install your titanium handle on a Tika bolt. This is also a good thing to know how to do because to get the bolt and handle installed you also need to take the bolt apart. You know, so if you're out in rainy conditions it's a good thing to be able to do to get in there, clean it out, oil it, prevent any rust, stuff like that. So I will show you the steps required to take the old one off and then put one of these on. Here, the standard Tika bolt. This is from 308 sized cartridge. Um, and they're all the same. I guess the left-handed ones are the same, but just in the opposite direction. And we're not currently doing left-handed bolts, but for anyone who has a left-handed rifle and wants to open it up, check the inside of the bolt out. This is how you do it anyway. So you'll see underneath here, you've got a little detent there. Um, so that's kind of holding this slider in place, which then catches on the trigger mechanism. So what you want to do is you want to rotate this, and you want to make sure that you don't rotate it down into this notch, because it can be quite hard to get out. So you just grab it by your hand, rotate it in the opposite direction of that big notch, and go as far as you can and you'll feel it stops firmly. From here you can just slide that cover off whether you've got a plastic one like the old T3s or a metal one like the new T3Xs or an aftermarket one. And then from there you'll want something that is reasonably thin and a bit strong. So I've got an Allen key here, it's probably about 3mm, 2.5mm. Uh, I've used than screwdrivers in the past, uh, anything like that. Probably something that is, uh, you know, reasonably high strength piece of wire might not be strong enough. But you stick that in that hole there, and then you rotate the bolt back the other direction. There's a, it's in the detent now, and you keep going back so it drops down into that big notch. Now the reason you have the something through there is so you can twist it out of that notch because it's pretty hard to get, get out of there without having something through through that hole like this. Flip it over, push this forward and then the bolt handle should just slide out and you see there's a bit of a notch in the front of the bolt there. That's the reason why you need to push this forward to make sure that the catcher in there comes out of that notch. So from there you pull your bolt apart, that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. Um, this, and you'll see it has a little bit on this one. Now uh, you just got to keep these oiled up because if you give them too long they can rust up a little bit. So, to put the new handle in, you slide that back in. And you got to sometimes make sure this here is lined up. Um, sometimes you do need to pull it out and twist this bit of metal here just to get it lined up right. Take your bolt handle, slide it back in so it's roughly flush there. And then you take this, your piece of your Allen key or your screwdriver, or whatever you've got, and then just rotate it back up so it's back in that bit there in the detent. And then go all the way back around and pull that out. Don't need it anymore. And then it's worth just checking, pulling the bolt handle back and forward, making sure that the uh, the piece of metal in there is dropped in to the to the cut notch in there properly. Once you've done that, make sure this is rotated all the way around. Put your your bolt shroud on. Rotate it back till it drops into that detent, and don't go any further. And that's all done. Thanks for watching the video. Even if you haven't purchased or don't plan on purchasing the titanium bolt handle, hopefully this was useful. Uh, it's a good thing to know. You have to clean it out and look after your rifle. Uh, keep posted. We are bringing out new products. Probably one of the next ones is a titanium bolt shroud. We feel like we can do a sturdier, lightweight version than than the original plastic one and a lot lighter than 
the current metal ones too so yeah and any requests we've had a few people ask for some products that we have already been working on uh things do take a while but uh um you know there's we are making progress on a few of these things it takes a bit of what time prototyping and designing and you know lining up people to manufacture specific parts so yeah follow us on instagram facebook and yeah we'll see what we come out with and for everyone who has purchased or supported us in any way thanks a lot really appreciate it